In a groundbreaking settlement, U.S. Soccer Federation has dedicated $24 million to equal pay between men's and women's soccer teams. The Federation has also promised to work towards equal pay in all competitions, including the World Cup. It's super great. Um, it, I know it's like been something they've been working towards because they do just as well. They, they work so hard for it and I think it's something that they deserve and I'm happy that they got it. I think it's like a win for all women, like trying to finally gain that equality to men that they should deserve because we all should be equal. The settlement occurred after a six-year legal battle between the team and the courts, starting in 2016, with five of the top players filing a wage discrimination complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. In 2019, the team realized their complaint was gaining no progress and moved to sue U.S. Soccer for wage discrimination instead. At the time, they claimed the price to settle the lawsuit was $67 million. Cheryl Cookie, a writer for NBC News, wrote, The U.S. WNT case is believed to be the first time women athletes in the U.S. sued their employer for gender discrimination and succeeded. A judge ended up dismissing the players' demand for compensation in 2020, stating that they had earned more than men in bonuses. After this decision, the team filed an appeal, arguing that their success, winning more games than the men and earning the World Cup championship twice between 2015 and 2019, should result in higher compensation. This ended up with the $24 million settlement. Now, the team has to renegotiate its collective bargaining agreement, a contract outlining wages, hours, and working conditions, with U.S. soccer. Once this agreement is ratified, the $24 million will go into effect. The current plan for the money is to split $22 million amongst current players and spend the other $2 million on establishing a fund for retired players. The team hopes this lawsuit will inspire more anti-discrimination cases and allow young women to pursue their dreams. I'm still paid less than men who do the same job that I do. For each trophy, of which there are many, and for each win, for each tie, and for each time that we play, it's less. And I know there are millions of people who are marginalized by gender in the world and experience the same thing in their jobs. Reporting for Scott Center, I'm Lindsay Augustine.